Jeffries as Man Kirby, the ghostess with the mostest. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sportive spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghosts as... Topper. That's Cosmo Topper. Good banker, good husband, good soul. Good afternoon, Topper. They're around somewhere. He's looking for the Kirby's folks, George and Marion. They're a young couple who got killed in an avalanche on their fifth anniversary and came back to make life a little more joyous for sedate Topper. They're ghosts, you know, even the dog, Neil. All three of them have learned the wonderful knack of dematerializing when they want to. But when they're solid, like now, only Topper can see or hear them. And you and I, of course. Let's listen. Why, what's the matter with you? We all have colds. <coughs> George, give Neil his cough medicine. and seven-eighths. Is that bad? Pretty low for a high liver. There's nothing wrong with his liver. I tell you, we all have colds. Oh, preposterous. How can ghosts have colds? Well, we haven't been dead long enough to learn how to keep healthy. <laughs> Gesundheit. I hope you're not going to get worse, madam. No, I'll, I'll only get ugly. It's a good thing no one can see us or hear us but you, Topper. Morning, Mr. Topper. <laughs> You have a cold, Mr. Topper? Uh, no, 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 Katie, no, no, I never have colds. Healthy as an ox. Good night. Uh, thank you, Katie. Must be my old allergy. Sensitive to oxtail soup. <laughs> Having it for lunch. Then why are you sneezing now? Um, oh, just to get it over with. Uh, did you want me? Mrs. Topper said to tell you she'll be home late. Topper, darling, hand me that box of tissues. I thought she said you didn't have a cold. I'm going to sneeze again. Mr. Topper! Mr. Topper, look what I was doing! Uh, the, the latest thing blows your nose for you. Give it back. <laughs> what do they think of next? Topper, I'm sick. Oh, go soak your feet in hot water. What do you think of next? Now, just lie down here, dear. I told you to keep her in bed. No, I want to be among my friends. The doctor said she could come downstairs. Doctor? What doctor? Oh, you wouldn't know him. He's one of the best authorities on coals that ever lived. He died years ago. From a cold. <laughs> Topper, make me a go away. Well, he's your dog. Yeah, but, but he's making a draft with his tail. Dozo! Dozo, guess who came to town? Yankee Doodle. <laughs> Don't be silly, Cosmo. Cousin Willie. Who? Cousin Willie. Willie Johnson, from Minnesota. He's here for a convention. No family was always conventional. No, Cosmo. It's the sportsman show. He's an outdoors man, a professional. And he's going to stay with us for a week or so. Uh, Tom, I'm not well enough for company. Run upstairs, then. Why should I run upstairs? Uh, to get into condition, dear, for your cousin. Jesse. That must be Cousin Willie now. And how does she know? Oh, he has his own theme song. Cousin Willie. Well, well, well. So you're Cosmo, are you? <laughs> uh, I, I think so. Uh, how did you know? Oh, it's rather stuffy in here. Well, it wasn't until you came in. Cosmo, open the window. Toppy, my cold. Ah, it's a nice check you have here. 
Although I don't know how people can live anywhere but Minnesota. Uh -huh. Give me the Northwest. Yes, sir, give me the Northwest. George, give him the Northwest and kick him out of here. Air man, let him the air. Good for your health. George, close that window. There, now we can breathe. Automatic air conditioning. Our doors and windows overstay at room temperature. I'd just as leave live in a wardrobe trunk. Outdoors, ma'am, that's the thing. Do you ever spend a day in the woods communing with nature? Uh, not lately. Have you ever tracked a skunk through the snow? <laughs> uh, not likely. I'm probably the only woodsman who knows whether a gopher is going backwards or forward in a plowed field. Recognize the spoor of every North American animal. I know the mating call of every predator. I can imitate any bird in the world. Really? You can imitate birds? Any bird in the world. Uh, how about a homing pigeon? <laughs> homing pigeon. <laughs> That's the homing pigeon. Now this is the brown-headed nuthatch or Citapusilla. jumpy about. Yes, and why are you sneaking into your own house? I, uh, I don't want Willie to hear me. I'm getting sick and tired of his outdoor stuff. Had me sleeping on the patio all night. <laughs> in a poncho, whatever that is. What does he want? Is he a fresh air fiend too? Looks like he's lost something. Oh, for pity's sake. Here, get up. Get up. Wait a minute. What's under there? All right. I found it. Oh, for goodness sake, I might have known it. Oh, call your dog off, will you? Cousin, where are you? Oh, here I am, dear. Cousin. What are you doing? I'm just on my way to the barn. Mix some martinis. But what are you doing on the floor? Oh, uh, uh, a shortcut, dear. Uh, a martini, will you? A wonderful drink. You wouldn't touch it. It'd eat your stomach out. Of oh, this man's got to go. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I just threw it away, that's all. But, Carlos, it floated. Yes, uh, very light gin, dear. Oh, Willie, what's new? Well, uh, tell him about the sportsman show, Willie. I'll get the hut for you. Uh -huh. Well, I delivered a lecture on weightlifting. Mm -hmm. And I demonstrated a two-handed clean and jerk with a 600-pound barbell. He's a two-handed jerk if I ever saw one. And not very clean. Cop, I don't know what you men stand for. Believe me, it's no picnic. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. No, I said it isn't. It is a picnic. Better still camping. Ask Willie to go on a camping trip. You must think I'm out of my mind. No. No, but you do and say some awful strange things. Now, Topper, don't say that. He just listened. Ask Willie to go on a camping trip this weekend. He's a big, strong outdoors man. He'll leap at the idea. Once we get him in those woods, we'll make it so rough for him, he'll land for Minnesota by jet. Wonderful. Wonderful. What's wonderful? 
Uh, uh, the bouillon. Oh. Oh, very healthy. Uh, speaking of health, Willie, how would you like to go on a camping trip this week? Camping? You? Cargo? Are you serious? Uh, certainly. I've kept myself planted on a smooth office chair far too long. I'd love to rough it a bit. Well, I'll have to get a gun. Is there a sporting goods store around? Stephen's sporting goods store. Cosmo could take you there. Hey, come on, Jerry, let's go. No. Cosmo, really, you needn't be rude. If you don't want to take Willie, I'll take him. Well, I don't want to put anybody out. I do. Just tell me where it is and I'll get there. Never mind, I'll go with you. Don't be late for dinner. No, dear. We'll shoot it on the way home. <laughs> I want to see a gun. A 30-30 with a good hess. Can it be one? Uh, this has a good hef. Uh, had you any special make in mind? What? Hold still, Topper. He shall the mission. This has a good hef, too. What is that on your head? My head. A uh, new model of common Miranda style, decorative and utilitarian. How does he do it? Mind over matter. Come on, let's work on the guns. <laughs> Now, about that gun. Oh, oh, well, I want to shoot some wild game. Now, the, uh, the main thing in handling a gun is to be sure that your hand is not near the trigger. Give the gentleman a cupid doll. What's the idea of having a gun that's loaded? Uh, there must be some mistake, sir. Our guns are never loaded. The bar is the goodie. Well, perhaps it'll be less dangerous some other place. Gentlemen, I... I assure you this can't happen again. Okay, I'll make sure. Well, that's more likely. Uh, uh, we'll take this one. Uh, charges. Help! George, Madden, quick. Help me with Willie. Uh, which one is Willie? Uh, uh. What happened? Oh, outdoors, man. Outdoors. Man's life isn't worth a red cent inside. You're liable to scare him so he won't go camping. I'll take this so you can't do any more damage, Topper. That gun. It went through the air all by itself. Uh, certainly. It, it, it's an air rifle. My feet hurt. The trouble with you people is you're out of training. You don't know how to cope with the outdoors. Well, I, I like it here. Well, it looks a bit level to me. Well, we're having a picnic, not a ski jump. It's always better to build a fire on a slight slope in case of a storm. Well, let it storm. I love it here. Uh, okay. And I sure wouldn't like to be stuck in the North Woods with you. Likewise. Very good. Civilization. Nah, it's just a mirage. Let's find out. Cosmo, help Willie unload. Don't bother about me. I can take care of everything. Howdy, stranger. Oh, howdy. Howdy what? Uh, uh, how do you do that? Never mind how I do it. I won the Waukegan Woodman contest.
and pitching in 1947. 58 seconds flat. Looks like we better pitch in, too. Would you like me to time you? Shoot. seconds. Flat. Now you show him how it's done, Hopper. Uh, do you mind if I have a go at it, old man? Jacks. Let's see how good you are at getting firewood. Oh, I'm too tired to go for wood. Come on, Topper. We'll help you. Yeah, I'll help you up, old man. Up for Daisy, Topper. <laughs> how did you do that? I, uh, I had frog's legs for breakfast. <laughs> Sure you wouldn't like me to strike a match? I have a lighter. I'll get it. I'm getting out of breath. You rest, honey. I'll blow now. You must have given me some wood that was wet. Pick them up, Topper. Rub them together. Where's that match? Uh, nothing at all, dear. It's quite easy, when you know how. <laughs> Never eaten flapjacks until you've tasted mine. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, don't drop it. I never dropped one yet. There's always a first time, old boy. Get ready, Neil. <laughs> Did you push me? No hand. Where did that flapjack go to? And they need anything. Well, well, why don't we eat something else? I could fry an egg. They'll never think of an answer to that. How would you like to go for a nice long walk? It's a nice long walk home. Well, isn't it getting a bit cloudy? I do hope it's not going to rain. Not a chance. What makes you so sure? The wind's in the wrong direction. Would you like to see me make a trap? Why can't we go home? Yes, Willie. It does feel like rain. Well, I guess I ought to know if it's going to rain. Do you ever do it as shooting? Only at people. I'll bet you that I can hit a target more times than you can. Betty, Topper. You're on. Why, Cosmo, you don't know how to shoot. Well, I, I never told you this before, dear. But uh, before we were married, I, uh, I was what they call a, a yeg. Are you sure you want to bet? Positive. Okay. You asked for it. Come on, guys. I tipped. Be careful and tell. All uh, right. Ah, the target's about forty yards. Well, you can go fast.
How did you like that? We weren't ready. Hey, darling, you missed, darling. You missed, darling? I mean, Willie. What do you mean, I missed? Well, how did it get back up there? Well, you just winged it. It was able to climb back. Yes. <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh, it uh, ricocheted. I, I, I played it that way. Yes, I know. But a fish. But well, it's a flying fish. <laughs> Look, a rabbit. Willie, you're not going to shoot that poor little rabbit. Missed him. I don't believe it. Then stop shooting at it. Now he's shooting at me. Uh, Self-defense. Oh, I told you it was going to rain. Well, the wind must have changed. Oh, why don't you go ahead? Uh, I I'll help Willie. I think I'd better start for the car. Now, darling, oh, we're going to lose you. What? I didn't say anything. Not for long, though. We just want to teach this goon a lesson. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what was that? Uh, just a slight gust of wind before the storm. Well, didn't it hit you? What? Oh, yes, yes, but I'm used to it. Where did that bush come from? Well, they grow pretty fast in this part of the country. Well, where's the path? Uh, seems to have gone. Well, now, don't lose your head. I'll get you back safely. High wind today. But the wind's coming from that direction. Oh, very variable winds in this part of the country. <laughs> I never saw anything like this in Minnesota. Oh, don't worry. I I'm sure they'll send out a search party in a day or so. Well, now, you look that way and I'll look this way. And whoever finds a path will yell and we'll meet right back here. Yeah. Yes, but, but Willie. I... This way, Topper, and run for it before the rain starts. Yes, but Willie. Oh, we'll take care of Willie. I'm sure you will. Don't keep him out too late. <laughs> oh, Topper! Topper, have you found the path? Oh, Topper! <laughs> well, how did it get there? Topper, I found it! Well, I told you I'd get you out of this mess. Now, you take the picnic baskets. That is, if you think you're strong enough. <laughs> well, say something. Well, all right, play possum, but you should be very grateful to me. If I hadn't found that path, you may have spent the whole night here, and I understand there are bears in these parts. Oh, boy, would I love to see you face the bear. <laughs> oh, not Topper, is that you? Oh, oh no. you'd know. Ah. I knew it wouldn't last. Fine thing, leaving me flat. Well, that'll teach me to dance with strangers. What if our friend Willie reached the Northwest yet? Yeah, probably. Say, George, where did you ever find that darling trained bear? I didn't find him. In fact, I never saw him before. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm.
W. Lupton, Bernard L. Schubert production. Produced by John W. Lupton. Starring Ann Jeffries, Robert Sterling, and Leo G. Carroll. Thank <laughs> you.